actor network theory. When we met up with the world actor, we can easily think of movie stars or only of somebody that plays an expected role for a certain, or in this case, uncertain performance and audience. That's pretty simple, but if we get deeper into the subject, the superficial concept that englobes this simple world with network and even more with theory turns out to be just the tip of the iceberg in the sea of infinite human possibilities. It is not just in the peaceful performances world, but in a yet for us foggy field of power structures. What matters is the question how to create new stages on which our lives change. To blow some of those clouds away, it's important for us to abstract our minds and make use of new ways of new social, scientific and ontological theories that will lead us to rethink, analyze, differentiate, relationate and deconstruct some frameworks of the human existential conditions so we can understand how to analyze and process reality through a neutral point of view. In this case, we will make use of Latour's neo-epistemological work. It's worth to say that important sources are also fields like ethnomethodology, post-structuralism and semiotics. Set hermeneutics aside and let's go to the object, or rather, to the thing. In order to redefine the concept of social, Latour proposes to go back to the original etymological meaning of this word, which would be described and conceived as associations, connections or linkings. From this insight, a new concept of social will be created in order to get an ability to differentiate and perceive human and non-human behavior through physical or incorporeal happenings that we all as existing beings share and at the same time connect us to what we call existence. The actor network theory was developed in the 80s by the sociologists Michel Callum and Bruno Latour. The actor network theory assumes that technology, nature and the social interact with each other in only one network that means that both you and me, both things and thoughts, are sort of the same thing, either actors or entities. And when both human and non-human interact with each other, we get an actant as a result. An actant is a word to describe interaction, in this case between humans and stuff. Latour also says that human beings are not the only action carriers, but things and objects as well. To make it easier, we can use an example of a weapon. A weapon could be also an actor, because from it comes an obvious impulse of shooting, an impulse of assuming a role. When men and things create an association like this, both change because they wouldn't be the same or have the same utility without each other. Paradoxically, the social becomes visible if it's allowed to go through non-social forms of existence. Well now, if there are actors, what makes them act? Is the actor the origin of the action? Who is actually acting? When an actor acts, he is not alone. He is supposed to be controlled by hidden forces, called entities or agency. These forces should be the source of an actor's acting. This suggests a problem, namely the incapacity of the possible recognition of an authentic self or just the social role. So, actors are never alone and it is really difficult to find out who is actually acting. It seems that we have some kind of software installed in actors' head that makes them act in a certain way which is for them unconscious. So, 
what does actors actually do? Well, they shall populate the world and spread the social acting through different philosophies and ways of living. With the appearance of the social scientists, humanity would be able to diagnose and recognize social phenomena. From now and then, actors are ruled by external factors, situations and conditions. And the only way of keeping this theory alive is following actors' traces to try to give some meaning of a certain kind of behavior. We shall recognize the world network not as we already know it, but as a tool that helped us to describe something, not as a net itself, but as the footprints of a moving object. This shall allow us to keep this concept online. In other words, the cradle of our respective meaning lays on the singularity of ephemeral events. Existence and meaning are synonyms. As long as they act, agents have meaning. This is why such a meaning may be continued, pursued, captured, translated, morphed into speech, which does not mean that everything in the world is a matter of discourse, but rather that any possibility of discourse is due to the presence of agents in search of their existence. A tour's position about nowadays society is a bit critical, and he says that it would be better for us if we, instead of giving the same old names to new existential pathologies, we create new ones, since doing the first thing would give us a poor thinking spectrum. Like natural scientists that are forced to create new laws and forms and concepts in order to deal with natural reactions or physical phenomena, the actor network theory leads for a view of science not as an established knowledge, but as a process of constructing knowledge. It also rejects dualism between nature and society and plays for a different approach that makes up the social. There is no information, just transformation.